Yo, yeah, what's going on, guys? Your boy V here, back on the Madden 16 Ultimate Team. Hey, it doesn't. Yeah, I'm gonna say this literally every single time, but it doesn't really matter if it's Ultimate Team or not. It's just what I'm playing. Uh, I wanna try another play for you guys in the Gun Bunch Week. We already covered Z Spot and two setups of verticals today. I'm also trying to keep it into plays that uh, every every uh, every shitter has. Uh, all the playbooks that have Gun Bunch Week have. So I'm not gonna do like Panthers bullshit, all the Panthers of the Panthers, Panthers bullshit. I'm going to try not to do any plays like that. I might eventually, but I'm going to do my best to get out as many plays as possible where it's not like that. First, uh, your number one receiver, you probably want to have someone with decent speed, but good catch in traffic and really good route running. The better route running, the better, and the better agility, obviously. Um, that's really the most important part. You also need a receiving tight end, and I'll show you guys why. So we're going to come out in the play that I like called wide receiver curl and I it was the first time I ever ran it was not long ago and it was freaking amazing so you got Wallace on that weird trick I don't really pay attention to hold to be honest but really I'm looking at the right side venereal disease VD Davis is my very first read where I snap the ball I notice the flats are open I hit VD okay it's very simple hit VD get your check down and get the most get a few yards here and there but that was my very first read that that was an intelligent read right there because the cornerback was playing the flat I don't know if you guys noticed that or not but my first read is VD and then I'm looking at Wallace, and now I'm looking at uh, Steve Smith Sr. It has to be done in rapid succession very fast. So the flats are open, so I'm going to hit VD. Usually uh, you pick up that block. See, Steve Smith's got nice blocking, so he's going to pancake him. But this is just a, an absolute money uh, money bullshit over there. Shit. Sometimes I like to put Wallace in a, uh, in a drag route like that. I haven't quite decided which I like the most, but we'll just do a drag for now. So right here you're going to see that I could easily bolt that in there to Steve Smith because it's perfectly in between the flat and the uh and a hook zone. It's like it's in a perfect the only place that plays it is a purple. The purple is the only thing that's going to play that. Um so let's just put Wallace in a drag route. We're gonna watch RB first and the flats are open so I'm gonna hit V D and he's gonna pick up the lead block and I'm gonna be able to get first down it. Guys I, like this play is seriously amazing. I don't think like this is just it's really good in the red zone, too. I'm going to have to start running in the red zone a little bit more often, but uh, it's a really good arsenal, a really good play to add to your arsenal in the gun bunch week. And also, I'm pretty sure uh, that this wide receiver curl play is in every single playbook. But, yeah, your first read is going to be RB, then uh, you're going to be your tight end, then your number one receiver, and then probably your A receiver. I don't really pay attention to X. I'd imagine that gets open to man coverage, but I usually don't pay attention to that. Usually, if anything, I put them on an out route. Um, it's smart route it sometimes, but uh, we won't pay attention to that. This time I want to see what, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. See, uh, that's that's probably why you want to put him on a drag route because the way that the uh, the hook zones are, they're gonna bump him like mad right there. Like I timed it pretty much perfectly to put it in between the two, like you guys seen perfectly in between where no one's gonna be able to throw it, but he just got bumped. So we'll, yeah, we'll just drag him, just like that. We snap the ball. We're going to see that the flats are open, so we're going to hit the flats and pick up a nice few amount of yards. Obviously, this isn't what you want to do to uh, if you're like in a third and long situation. This is just, I usually like to dink and dunk my weight on the field anyway, so this is just a great play to put in there. Every once in a while, I'll throw your opponent off, um, make them start to use her over there in the flats, because that, that flat route is incredibly deadly this year. And same with that uh, angled hook route, is just incredibly deadly, so we're going to... Go ahead, and to be honest, drag routes are almost always open this year. Like, B was wide open right there, but uh, if if their user isn't going to play that drag route, odds are it's going to be open. I seriously don't even know what stops a drag route at this point unless they just get a mirrored man coverage. Um, but as you guys can see, I could I know that I'm playing against the computer, but I could easily, easily dot my way up and down the field with this play. See right there, Hurl's got, Hurl's going to be wide open because Steve Smith's got the route running. He's going to be able to get more separation when he cuts back. And because he's got the catch in traffic, he's going to catch it after he gets hit. So that's what you're looking for in that receiver. Um, so I'll be able to, I, I, already, I know a bunch more plays out of this formation. It's just when I get time to put it out there. Uh, so if you like the video, give it a like, comment, and subscribe. Follow me on Twitter. It'll be down in the description below, guys. And as always... Eh. Hey.